I see you gather before. The Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war ravaged land. His mission to gather intelligence about Ciri. That's it, Roach. Run, Roach. strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day, and the mist. Not so fast, Roach. What now, you piece of hell? Leave me be, whoever you is. Get away! Calm down. It's over. Aye. It's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd a heard the cries, sir. If you'd a heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange, the toads, I cannot hear them.
save terror through and through. Hendrik screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. the terrors, yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No, and I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you.
tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Should check his boots. Blood congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. left unlocked on display almost lost his mind or mm. Mm. interesting a ledger payment for a sack of grain amount due for a charcoal shipment Hendrik was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige, also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged, ashen hair, scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle, or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talked to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp, encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Ciri, thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn.
Get it Hey there. Depends who's asking. A witcher. Wanna talk to him? Hmm. Yeah. And I wanna plow the lovely Queen Cyril. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way. Nice and all. It led me here. Gotta talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we had none but him. Open the gate. Sergeants! Ardell! Witcher, to see the Baron. Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Guard called you a sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> Your mate split the loot between them long ago. That's what I would have done. And you, shut it now. Save your strength. Die with some dignity. If it weren't for our fair outfits, we'll be the wilds. Infosema! Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Oh! One, two, three, one, two, three, hey! <laughs> Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Make yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. Ah! 
There it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis' whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. What's that supposed to mean? That a threat? Boy, not as clever as I suspected you'd be. No, it's no threat. I'll spell it out for you. I know who you're looking for. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Set some beasts from the woods and tapped her before she could reach the village. You can come down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. Why don't you tell me where you live? In Lindenvale. They'd see to your wounds there. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Come. I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. 
Come, I'll help you up. do a lot more. Come. Look! There's something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? <sighs> Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Everything seems to suggest a fiend. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. With dog tallow, bull's parsley, wolf's liver, and mistletoe. The fiend will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. all in blood. Clawed open. No wolves did this. Hear that? 
wolves. Hide! Quickly! everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire and brew the oil in peace. What are you doing? Greasing my blade. There. We'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. often send their children out to follow the sweets. Sometimes they send their... Mm. Belly is all in blood. Clawed open. No wolves did this. Unless we want to anger it. seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Yaren, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but... Yaren, the... The little one. No details. You have bandages at home? Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've, I've not missed, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. 
Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family, but then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. Guard! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. Anything unusual happen before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well. Devoured another last before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever. And Tamara, occupied with her... things. Nothing unusual. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Did that what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's womp on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size.
the Baron and his wife <laughs> look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole, and what's on the other side. Mangled bit of candlestick. Someone smashed it against the wall and broke clear into the wardrobe. Getting interesting. Might be more traces of fighting. Gotta look around. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah. Erveloose. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. off. Could find something else, though. Mm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Done poking around. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. But was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Ought to have a chat with this peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet.
an outing to find that she made to spit slash. What's the comment? Ever heard of preventive arse wolfing? Run, Roach. Come on now. Oi, help an old feeble woman. What's wrong? To their night blasphemers, pox taken, profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Their cows will croak, and kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. Done. The good gods have sent ye to me. Someone to repair their shrines from this day on. Look, already got a trade. I'm a witcher. Restoring traditional roadside structures in wood. Just not my specialty. Fighting evil, that's a witcher's calling. And vandals are worse than beasts. Fine. I see any damaged shrines, I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts. And the gods will guide ye. You look awful. Faster. We'll get the old book up. Slow now. Get out of my sight. Some strays wandered our way. You. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller. Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Maybe we can make a deal. We'll not plow in bargain with no one. Vengeance. That's what we want.
What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augurys. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened pustules all over him. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Hmm, well, all in all... Yes or no? Fine. Let's hear it. A tea of mullein leaves for his belly, and cover his boils with mallow. A few days and he'll be good as new. Noted. But if it don't work, we'll be back. Move out, boys. Hmm. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils? Who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Ooh, a man. Nay, a wolf. Grey, though not old. Tis he the Peller awaits. You were expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this. Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay. No, nay, Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess, my goat! She's fled. Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them.
compared to a patch of wild strawberries. Come on, take you back to the Peller. Misses you something awful. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Come on, damn it. Where the hell do you go? Run, you stupid piece of shit! bringing this bell for you to follow. <laughs> You're no roach, but I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Nowhere in sight. Nowhere, nowhere in sight. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Can we talk about Anna and Tamara now? Know where they might be? Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. Yet did not. 
not die. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Did the Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you. You must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave thrown. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is.